starring Tommy Reddick as Jeff Miller. Jan Clayton as his mother, Ellen. George Cleveland as Gramps. And, of course, Lassie. Stay close. I won't be but five minutes. I will. No, get down. I'm going and see how much those white mice cost. Mm. You better stay out here. There's too many animals in there. I'll be right back. Where'd you leave her? Outside the pet shop. I went in to look at some white mice, and when I came out, she was gone. I heard her bark, but I can't find her. Well, she won't go far by herself. Lassie! I already called her. Sure she ate the pet shop? I don't think so. Is Lassie in here? No. Perhaps she's not in there. There's a new leash law in town. It's very likely that your dog's been picked up by the pound man. What's that? Dog catcher. Oh, Gramps. I know, now. Take it easy. Uh, where's the pound? Well, uh, you're on Fifth Street now. Go north four blocks, turn left, and it's two blocks west, almost to the corner. Mr. Hofstadter's the man to see. He's very nice. Thanks. If Lassie comes back here, would you keep her for me? Well, I certainly will. Thanks. Tag. She's a farm dog. She never wears a collar. We live in Calverton. Oh, you got a tagger in town. New leash law. Now, come on, Jeff. The sooner we get back, the better for all of us. Come on, Lassie. Uh... 
Got real friendly, them two. I brought them in together. Come on, I see. You uh, got to buy a tag and pay a dollar fine before you can take her. What? It cost you two dollars. Two dollars? For what? One dollar for a fine, one dollar for a tag. Girl in the office will take care of you. Meantime, I'll see if I can find a rope so you can keep her leased until you get her out of town. Two dollars? It's a lot of nerve, if you ask me. You wait here. Ramps is having conniptions on account of you. This ought to do. Thanks. Does everybody who comes for a dog have to pay two dollars? That's the law. The trouble is, nobody comes for most of them. They're just strays. What happens to them? I mean, if nobody comes for them? We put them to sleep. Law says we can keep them for seven days. I try hard to find a home for them, but uh, it's not easy to do. There's more dogs that want homes than there are homes that want dogs. I've got to get rid of a dozen of them next Monday. You mean you're going to kill them? It ain't the two dollars I mind, miss. It's the principle of the thing. I don't see any reason for me to pay dog tax to Capital City. I don't even live here. I'm sorry, sir. Well, you feeling sorry don't help me none. I'm the one that has to shell out the two dollars. And if you ask me, it's downright illegal. Well, that dog wasn't loose over five minutes. <laughs> Ought to have leash laws for people instead of dogs. It's one dollar for the tag and one dollar fine. I know, I know. But I'm going to tell you something, young lady. We got laws over my way. And if I catch any city people on my property trespassing, I'm going to have the law on them good and proper. Dog's name? Lassie. Owner's name? Jeff Miller. Address? I told you, Calverton. Now, are you sure it's all right? Well, sure it is. I'll tell Gramps. Come on, Jeff. Well, Gramps won't be all right if I... Come on. Well, Gramps, I'll be seeing you. Sure thing. <laughs> nice people. Hi, Mom. Well, oh, hi, sweetheart. Hello, Porky. Hi, Miss Roy. Oh, I beg your pardon. Didn't I say hi to you? Ah, hmm. uh, rules. Put it on the sink. Jeff's got a secret. He has? Yeah, he won't even tell me. It happened in Capital City yesterday. Really? All that I know that happened was that they almost lost last week. What are you two talking about? Um, um, uh, nothing. There's some brownies in the cookie jar. Is that clock right? I think so. Why? You have an appointment? No. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Hostetter. Hello there, young fella. <laughs> Mr. Hostetter, I'd like you to meet my friend Porky. Porky, Mr. Hostetter. Well, hello there, Porky. Hello, Mr. Hostetter. <laughs> Maybe somebody tell me what's going on here. You remember Mr. Hofstetter, Grant, from the dog pound? Pleased nice to see you again, sir. Where'd he bring all them dogs here? Dad, you better change those overalls. They're soaked. I'll take care of this. Uh, Mom, this is Joe Hofstetter. Pleased to meet you, ma'am. How do you do? Jeff, what is this all about? Uh, the boy's got a heart of gold, ma'am. You can be right proud of him. Jeff, would you mind telling me what this gentleman means? Well, you see, Mom, these dogs are from the pound. They're strays. Yes? Well, they were going to be killed because nobody wants them. Gosh! They've only got a little while to live if they don't find homes. Isn't that awful? It certainly is. Then you'll let them stay? Stay? 
Stay, stay where? Oh, right here with us, till I help find him home. Porky, you'll help me, won't you, Porky? Jeff, what has got into you? Now, you know that's out of the question. Oh, why, Mom? Because this is a farm, not a kennel. Now, the dogs will go back where they belong, and right now. I'm sorry, Mr. Hofstetter. It's all right, ma'am. You always said that people should protect animals, that it's our duty because they need us and depend on us like children. Now, Jeff, listen. All they want is to love somebody. They haven't done anything to you, but you want to hurt them. You don't care if they die. Oh, look, dear. I do care very much. But, well, there are just some things in life that you, you must learn to face. Like what? Well, you don't know if anybody wants those dogs, and, and in the meantime, they have to be fed. That costs money. I've got money. I saved up $2.65 for a new football. Well, I got 50 cents saved up. And you can handle my next week's allowance. Oh, all right, you can try. Oh, thanks, Mom. Plenty of water for him. Oh, Jeff! Why didn't you leave this one in the barn, too? Go away. He's Lassie's friend. What's his name? I'm calling him Atlas because he's so big. And so pretty, too. I'm pretty tired, Mom. I think I'll go to bed. Come on, Atlas. Oh, no, he's not going to sleep in your room. Why not? Because, number one, the room isn't big enough. Number two, one dog in the house is enough. Oh, no, he sleeps out in the barn. In fact, he needs a barn to get around. Oh, all right. Good night. Good night, Good night Gramps. Good night, Sam. I know what you're thinking. Hmm? I know. I'm much too harsh with him. Well, I suppose you think I should have let him take that young elephant to his room. I didn't say a word. Isn't it enough that he has 15 dogs in the barn? 15 dogs. I still didn't say a word. After all, there's a limit to things. We aren't running an asylum for, for wayward animals. He's got to understand that there are other people in this household. And the sooner he learns it, the better. Well, haven't you anything to say? Not a word.
That's all the racket. Fifteen dogs. Please shut up. I got him started. Oh, no, but I can't stop him. Hush up, hush up, hush up. Maybe if we let him out, they'd stop. I heard that. Don't you dare. It ain't no use staying out here in the cold. Uh, they'll quit after a while. You mean to say you're going to let them bark and, and yowl like that all night? Well, they'll quiet down. When? It's midnight now. Well, you got to understand they're dumb animals. And I'm a dumb human being forever consenting to let them stay here. You better think of some way to get rid of them, son, and you better think fast, too. Terribly sorry, Mr. Hofstetter, but you'll have to come get these dogs today. They barked and howled all night, and none of us got a wink of sleep. Oh, yes, I told Jeff about it this morning before he left for school. Oh, I wish you could keep them. I know, but it's it's just too much for us, and, and I'd appreciate it if you could get here before he comes back from school. Well, you know, it would just make it easier, that's all. And I'm really sorry we put you to all this trouble. Yes, of course. Thank you. Well, that's that. I haven't committed murder. I didn't say a word. Well, you better not. Three. What's taking so long? The last one. Well, please hurry and get them out of here. Keep stalling. You can't stall no longer. There ain't no more dogs. We've been here for an hour already. Fiddle with the truck. Trouble getting us started. You don't only tell me what's going to happen. Well, I don't know, but you can bet your bottom dollar that something is, or Jeff ain't my grandson. Williams! Oh, I got a plan, Mom. Porky and me figured it out. What's all this? It was part of our plan. We spent all the money we had, and we got Spike to give ten cents, and Woody gave five cents, and the teacher gave a dollar. And I gave fifty cents. Well, I don't understand. Please, Mom, you gotta trust me. I can find good homes for all the dogs if you'll just give me an hour. Jeff, how? <laughs> All right, one hour. Now, who wants this dog? His name's Mickey, the very smart dog. He's a thoroughbred, too. Come on, everybody. Get your hot dogs over here and get your live dogs over there. Everybody that wants them, we've only got four dogs left. This is the only place where you can get your real life free dogs. What do you have? I want a dog. Oh. Here. No, I don't want a dog. I want a real one. Oh. Over there. I can make help. Uh, application because I can't write. Get your free hot dogs over here and get your free live dogs over there. How are they doing? <laughs> Only two left, the little mutt and Atlas. Oh, that's wonderful. Here, take these out to Porky. I think he has enough rolls. You proud of your son? <laughs> Very. <laughs> I ate six hot dogs. Well, what about Atlas, Mom? Nobody wanted him because he's so big. He certainly is. You think maybe we could keep him? Oh, not Jeff. You know, uh, I'd just been thinking. I ain't getting any younger. I think it's high time I had a dog of my own to take care of me when I get good and old. You gonna take Atlas for yourself? Yep. Atlas, meet your new master. 
<laughs> well, we better get going. A lot of boarders down at the pound will be looking for their supper. And this time, you sit up front with me. Thanks for everything, Mr. Hofstetter. Thank you, son. Uh, do you think you could visit us sometime and bring Atlas with you to play with Lassie? I'll do that very thing. <laughs> Thank you for being so understanding. It was you who had the understanding, ma'am. All right, Mr. Miller. What's the matter? Just dog trouble. Hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> 